Hi, welcome to another episode on the Math Magic Channel. We are always told in math, check your work, check if your answer is correct. Now, when I check, if I make the same mistake again, then I still get the wrong answer. And I will think it is correct. Is there a way around this? Yes. Let me try and show you one. Uh, look at this expression. Rather than multiplying the whole thing again, another strategy I can use is I can check if my answer is a reasonable one. How do I do that? I use rounding off. So both these numbers I am going to round off. 106 is closer to 100. I will take 100. 52 being closer to 50. Now when I multiply 100 by 50, again I am going to do 1 into 5 is 5 and there are 3 zeros here. Can you see these two numbers? Very obviously my answer is wrong. So I will be more careful. I will check where have I gone wrong and I can uh, correct my mistake. Right? So this is the strategy where we are checking the reasonableness of our answers. Let's see a few more how it works. We'll take one more with multiplication. If I'm multiplying 250 into 17, for example, 250, it's right in the middle of 200s. I can take either 200 or 300. I'll go with 200. 17 being closer to 20. Two twos are 4. Again, I have 4000. Now, whatever answer I get here will not be the same, obviously. But if I've got something like a 400 or a 500 or a 50,000. So looking at this, I know, no, my answer is not a reasonable answer. It cannot be so much different because I have rounded off to the closest tens or the hundreds. That immediately helps me identify I must have made a mistake somewhere. Hey, na? So this is the strategy. You try it with addition also. You can do it with any operation, in fact, using rounding off. If I try it with addition, if I take 198 and I want to add it to 213. So let's actually add uh, 8 plus 3, 11. 1 plus 9, 10 plus 1, 11. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 198 rounds off to 200. 213 also rounds off to 200. My answer should be somewhere around 500. It is. It's 411. So I know that it must be correct. Now, if you have time, it's a good idea to actually recheck the entire working to pinpoint if it's completely correct. Otherwise, I still know that, yes, my answer is a reasonable answer. I can obviously use this for subtraction also. If I'm uh, subtracting 572 minus 411 or something like this, let's uh, actually subtract and see. So 2 minus 1, 1, 7 minus 1 and 5 minus 4. 572 is closest to which 100? I'm rounding off the whole number, right? Uh, closer to, yes, 600. This is closer to 400. I get a 200 here. You can see that there is a little bit of a variation, but it's still a reasonable answer. I can recheck and find out, yes, is it completely correct or not? This is something I tell my students to always do. Look at your answer. Look at the two numbers in the question. Is your answer a reasonable answer? Do this next time. Your teacher asks you to recheck your work. Try it out. If you're enjoying my strategies that I'm sharing, do give me a thumbs up, follow, reshare and subscribe.